Welcome back. This is Fox. Long awaited video today. <clears throat> We're going to be going over the arbitrage. How I incorporate arbitrage into my save. Um, to put arbitrage in layman's terms or simply, we are using steam carriages to trade for everything that we need. And we are generating these steam carriages by using pocket watches, gramophones, penny fathers, and dynamite. We're trading for those four goods with steam carriages. And then we're using them for goods, pocket watches, gramophones, dynamite, and penny farthings to trade back for steam carriages. And we end up with 2,400 something per island for free. It's that simple. So what you need, you need a large island and then you need to pair it with a small island. So this is Old World Investor 8. This is Mini 7, where is Mini 8? Here, this is the island it is paired with. Um, the reason you want to pair it with a small island is because you're not going to have that many houses on the small island and the arbitrage that you do between the two will generate enough cabs to supply both islands. You're going to need to be using the storage boost on your small islands. So the palace is set to Department of Trade. 1,200 ton island storage per harbour master's office. I've got one, two. They need to be linked by a road to the palace. And then using plus 50 ton island storage per depot. So we're generating a whopping 9,350 storage on this island. 9350. A large island. This has an island storage of 8650. So this is our cap. The cap is always the smaller storage of the two islands. So 8650 is what we are working with on this island. Um Yeah, you need to fill the island up with cabs. Have I already spoke about this? I apologize if I have because um I've re recorded this a couple of times because I nearly choked to death on my drink. Um, you need to generate some cabs to fill the island up to get the arbitrage going. So make your cabs. I'm making them on Crown Falls. They're clipped. Here's the coach makers. I'm using the traditional way with steam motors because I generate them for free. And then I'm shipping them to the old world to this island just to get the arbitrage going. Once your island is filled with cabs, then you can start to deal with uh, trading them out. So... If you want to do it exactly the same way I do it, you need cabs in your number one spot. This needs to be your export level legendary export good. Steam carriages. Then you want gramophones and pocket watches in the next level, the tier two goods if you like, because these are the next two highest tradable goods that you can use to trade for steam carriages. You then want dynamites and penny farthings in your tier three slot. What you're using the rest is entirely up to you, but these four goods are enough to generate enough cabs on any island. This will max out your storage of cabs by trading these. You won't need any more than four goods. Um, yeah, so steam carriages top, gramophones, pocket watches tier two, dynamite, penny farthings tier three. Then we use the steam carriages to trade for these. There's just you can notice here this is less than the 8650. I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, use the steam carriages to trade for these goods. So steam carriages for gramophones, pocket watches, dynamites, and Penny farthings, max out your island storage. We then send the pocket watches, gramophones, penny farthings, and dynamite back to the small island. So, all goods. Steam carriages. These come from the small island to the big island. Then, if we go to. You can see the gramophones, dynamite, pocket watches, and penny farthings are going from the big island back to the small island. Then when you send them to the small island, this is where we turn them back into the cabs. So the gramophones, pocket watches, penny farthings, dynamite, these turn back into the cabs. So let's do some quick sums so you can see how many cabs we generate here. Um, 2525 plus 3044 plus 1731 plus 1350. 8650 cabs exactly. I filtered this down. I shrunk this number of pocket watches down to allow to get us down to the 8650. If this was at 8650 pocket watches, we'd be generating more. We were trying to be trade for more pocket watches than we can physically store. So we are generating 8650 cabs on this island. We go back to this one. We 
We'll see how many it takes. Fucking busy harbour this is. So we're generating 8650. For us to do that, we only need to trade for these four goods. So we're using 1768. Let's do 131. We're only using 5,661. 8650 minus 5,561. 3,000 cabs we're generating for free. 3,000 cabs we're generating for free. Just by doing that. Just by having this pyramid set up the way it is. Shipping them between islands. Trading for them on different islands. So, once you've got your steam carriages from the small island back to this island. And you've traded for the goods they need. Anything that's left over you can use to trade for what they need. So, I'm using these steam carriages to trade for soap. Canned food. Sewing machines. Fur coats. Spectacles coffee, light bulbs, champagne, cigars, and chocolate. Everything that I need, pretty much. If there's something that they don't need, or if there's something that you can't trade for on your made island because you went out of slots, you will have to do it on the small island, the island that it is paired with. And the way I've done that, if you noticed earlier, this number of pocket watches is less. I didn't need almost uh, 800 pocket watches because we were maxing out the steam carriages so these eight nine hundred pocket watches i'm using to trade for the tapestries and the furs that are needed which are the lifestyle needs this is a very easy arbitrage this island because the storage is full if you're arbitraging on an island where the small island has a really low really small like this one for instance storage on this is nine thousand eight hundred but this is paired with this island over here, which only has an island storage of 6,100. I would not be able to generate enough cabs to supply everything with only 6,100 storage. It's just not possible. So the best way I've found to deal with this is on your small island, have penny farthing production because penny farthing production produces penny farthings and pocket watches and gramophones, which we're all using for the arbitrage. And then you input this into the system. So the penny farthings, pocket watches and dynamite that you make go straight into this system and then you use them to trade for the steam carriages. Meaning it uses less steam carriages on your large island to trade for the goods that you need to swap back. Which means you've got more to then use for the goods that they need if you catch my drift. It really is that simple. Small island you are using the gramophones, pocket watches, Don and Fort and Penny Farthings to trade for steam carriages. You then ship them to the large island where we trade for the goods, pocket watches, gramophones, Penny Farthings, Dynamite, ship them back to the big island, rinse and repeat. It just goes round in a never ending circle. And then whatever you've got left, you can use to trade for the goods that they need. One thing I will say is when you're factoring in the amount of trading that you want to do with these steam carriages, make sure you remember to factor in how many steam carriages they need on the island like for instance this island needs 14 tons of steam carriages a minute and 14 times 30 is 420 i would put a buffer of 450 a minute so when you're setting out your trading you're working out how many steam carriages you've got and using it to trade for stuff allow 400 to 450 set aside that you're not using for the people to actually use on the island as a need Apart from that, there's not much else to it. It really is that simple. Shift them between the islands, trade for them, and then trade for everything that you need. Um, if you want to work out how much goods people are going to need on an island like this, you really are going to need to have to use the Anno 1800 calculator. Um, if you want a tutorial on this, you're going to have to let me know because it's very, very in-depth. But suffice to say, you can work out exactly how many people will be on your island using this calculator. Um, all you do is input the number of houses. I've got 1,151 engineer houses, 1,152 investors. They're both tier three skyscrapers. You input the uh, goods, the, you input the bonuses that they're going to get. So the intense panorama, which items you're using inside the town halls, whether or not they're making use of pallets policies. I'm making use of a late license act on, act on my islands. And this calculator tells you exactly how many goods of each how many of each good you will need per minute to supply and then all you need to do is work out how long it's going to take to buy us to enter the region 
how long it's going to take him to trade and then you just times that number by this number so 194 minutes i base my islands on 30 minute trade 30 times 194 it's 5820 uh, I should have done 30 times 195 to give it a bother. 5850. 5850, I would imagine, is the number that is inside here for chocolate. 6300. I've given myself a big boost. Always give yourself a little buffer if you're worried. Chocolate is one of the weirdest ones. They chew through it like crazy. So, yeah, there is a calculation to work out how long time Tobias will take between trades it is a bit long-winded but i can run through it quickly for you it is total amount of import and export goods so you need to add all of these together everything the number of steam carriages the number of gramophones steam carriages pocket watches steam carriages dynamites steam carriages penny farthings add all of these numbers together this is the total amount of tons that you're going to be trading let's say for instance this is going to be sixty thousand, which most of mine are sixty thousand tons of goods you then need to divide this by the loading speed of the harbour. Now, I am forcing, I should be forcing Tobias to use this, but he's a knob and he is a law unto himself. I will be forcing Tobias when these prestige, when my ranked, when my prestige level hits max and it stops pushing ships out the way, I will be forcing Tobias to use this harbour. The way you do that is you block the main wharf with a little ship, get it to unload something that it can't unload, get it to wait, and it will sit there forever. And then the every other ship that is using your island, send it to a advanced pier by putting a placeholder in it. You can see these piers. I've got a placeover of pamphlets, which I don't use. Every single one of them. And then every ship that's coming in here has the pamphlet as a placeholder. So every airship, every everything that is using this island, I want it to use an advanced pier so that Tobias should be able to trade at the Grand Harbour. So loading speed is 42.5 tons a second so if we divide 60,000 tons which was the total amount of goods divided by 42.5 this is how many tons a second he would load but Tobias has an imaginary 300 percent loading speed buff he comes with 100 percent and then he has a 200 so you then need to divide this number by three don't ask me why or how it's not written anywhere we just know it is so loading speed the no total amount of export goods divided by loading speed, then divided by three. So we'll divide it by three to account for Tobias's boost. That is 470 seconds it would take Tobias to load and unload those goods. Now we divide that by 60. That's 7.85 minutes. We'll call it 7.9 minutes. It will take Tobias 7.9 minutes to unload and load all of them goods that I've select told him to in my dock runs when i get him to load at this harbour which he should be loading at 7.9 minutes you then need to add a flat 20 minutes there is a flat 20 minutes between all of tobias trades no matter which island you are whether it's in the old world or the cape so we're at 27.9 minutes you then the only thing you then need to add is the time it takes tobias to enter the region so that is super easy all you do is when this timer gets down to zero and it says tobias is arriving start a timer time it to the point where he gets to here and unloads the goods um we ain't going to be lucky that there's to be us close enough for us to do that but a good rule of thumb is if your island is on the perimeter if you're using a corner seed like me these big islands on the perimeter it will take him two minutes to enter the region and get to your island one of these medium islands or this small island in the middle it's going to be three minutes so two minutes, if you said two and a half minutes as a rule, two minutes, 30 seconds, I'm at 30.4 minutes total trade time. I base all of my large islands off of the a 30 minute cycle. It just works out like that. I have learned that through this save. So if you are doing a, a game similar to mine where you're maxing out islands like this, if you've got roughly 2,300 ish houses on a large island, if you're supplying them what I am, so I'm not supplying coffee to engineer to investors. Uh, everything else that I can trade for is being traded for on this island. So the only thing I don't do is I don't give investors coffee. Apart from that, there's nothing else to it. 30 minute trade cycle, I base all of mine on. 
Uh, yeah, force Tobias to use the main harbour where possible. If not, you need to factor in him messing around and bloody trading at all sorts of different times and loading speeds and stuff like that, which is a friggin' nightmare. So yeah, um, I'll probably have rushed through this a little bit, but if there's any questions, please ask. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch where we'll be finishing this save up super soon. We're at 12.8 million. This was at 13 a minute ago. I've been having issues with the arbitrage on this island. So this is again loading where he shouldn't. Seems to be okay now. This island here, again, we're having ever so slight issues. I need to just tweak it slightly. It's not super easy to get it finitely dialed in. It will take some practice. But yeah, don't be scared. You can do it. Look at that, look. There's always room for more. Always room for more. Yeah, anyway, that is the arbitrage in a nutshell. As I said, if I have been a bit quick, I apologise. It, there's not really much to say just ship the goods between the islands make sure your pyramid is set up the way that I have it if you want to copy the way I do it exactly the reason I've got this like this is because gramophones and pocket watches are the two best goods to trade for steam carriages you get the best exchange ratio going back dynamite and penny farthings are pretty good also penny farthings are like in the third slot along with advanced weapons because i am generating a load of advanced weapons for free and this save from my motor production and my film reels and penny farthings for the reason that i showed you earlier if you can't supply if you can't unpack enough cabs on the island to generate all of the need to supply them with all of the need you're going to have to bolster the arbitrage with penny farthings it's as simple as that anyway guys i hope you learned something today as I said, if you do have any questions, please ask and I'll try and uh, answer them on the YouTube or via the Discord. Links in the description. Come follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming the finale. Uh, it'll be on a Friday night, maybe a Saturday, depending. We'll have a good three, four hour stream when I'll finish everything up. When I finally get to the 20 million. Um, I will say it probably is going to be sometime in the next month. I am pretty close. I reckon... Within four weeks from today, I can be at a point where I'm ready to finish. So keep an eye out in the Discord and the Twitch. Um, I'll be letting you know on there when exactly the finale will be. I would love all of you guys from YouTube to come over and watch on Twitch. Even if it's just for a day, I understand some of you don't don't um, like Twitch or whatever. For whatever reason, you don't follow me over on there. I, you don't even have to follow. Just come over and watch the finale. It should be a good bang when we push past that 20 million push past the 20 million but yeah thanks guys that is the arbitrage and i will see you in the next one